Something's in the sewers. Something is lurking in Riverdale's underbelly, but what? Archie's got an appetite for mystery, but something's got an appetite for Archie. It's got glowing eyes, it's got sharp teeth, and it lives in the sewers. Hello? Hello? Speak up! Get over <gasps> here now! Betty? What's wrong? Archie, where did you get all of this stuff? It's Dilton's. He lets me use it for spook work sometimes. If my parents saw this mess... It'll all be gone before they get back from vacation. So will your haunting. Do you know how to work all this? Of course I do. <laughs> this is so typical. See? Piece of cake. These digital cameras will record any PK movement. What movement? Psychokinetic movement. Like the pizza chef in Brooklyn who could toss pizzas with his mind. This is the EEV, Ecto Energy Variation Monitor. Explanation, please. If your haunt is a dimensionally displaced person, his ectoplasmic energy will register here. Dimensionally displaced? You mean a ghost? Yes, but that's such a harsh term. And this is... a seismometer? It, um, registers... I know what it registers. Are you expecting an earthquake? No, I was loading the equipment and I got carried away. Huh? Now these interdimensional scanners are really cool. What do they do? I have no idea, but they really look awesome, don't they? And that's the tour. So now what do we do? We wait. Extrasensory stakeouts like this can go on for hours. Or not. That's weird. Is it an earthquake? I don't think so, but something is causing these vibrations. I'm gonna guess it's my dimensionally displaced person. That's strange. None of the equipment is detecting any paranormal activity. The sound! It's coming from everywhere! Your ears are playing tricks on you. According to this audio meter, the sound's coming from everywhere. Where are you going? That sound has to have a source, and we're going to find it. What's this door? 
bathroom. You think it's in there? Maybe our visitor has an otherworldly sense of hygiene. I guess there's only one way to find out. Ready? Set? Go! <laughs> Nothing. I'm not so sure about that. I need my arm for this. Sorry. <gasps> Andrews, I don't think you have a ghost of a chance to find my ghost. Listen. The sound is coming through the pipes. Check out the sink. Huh? That's unbelievable. I know. This will make a great article. No, it's unbelievable that you're right about the pipes. There's something down there and... It, it lives, lives in, in the, the sewers. sewers! There it is. We have containment breach level three. I'll call for backup. No, we get in trouble for losing it in the first place. I'll just get the wench to pull this out of here. You start spraying the area with antitoxins. I still think we should call for backup. Frank, is that you? Stop clowning around. Frank? Who's there? I was going to ask you the same thing. Archie Andrews here, reporter for Riverdale High. Look, kids, I'm busy here. That's exactly what I want to talk to you about. I'm afraid that's classified. Hey, young lady! Kids, you're gonna have to clear out. And whatever you do, don't go down that manhole. Okay, sir. Sorry to bother you. But... Come on, Betty. Enough manhandling! First Space Geek over there, now you! Sorry, I needed to talk to you. He's hiding something in the sewers, and I want to know what it is. But he won't let us down there. That's where you come in. I have a plan. I thought I told you to clear out. I know, but I had to come back to talk to you. Huh? I can't resist a man in a uniform, especially a weird uniform. So, what is it you're trying to do? Well, young lady, our job is important. Very important. Oh, come on. What's so important about an old sewer pipe? We have to retrieve an LTWC. LTWC? Lost Toxic Waste Container. <gasps> Archie! Toxic waste! Isn't that dangerous? Relax, miss. We've sprayed the site with antitoxins. Everything's under control. Huh? <gasps> what are you doing down here? This is a restricted area. Would you believe I took a wrong turn? You're out of here, now! Huh? I think we need to call in backup. What are you doing here? Something's going on in the sewers. What are you talking about? One, noises at Betty's house coming up from the pipes. Two, hazardous material team cleaning up toxic waste in the sewers. Three, giant monster with nine-inch teeth. Hmm. 
Sounds like there's something going on in the sewers. You're telling me! I... Huh? Say, what's wrong with you? What do you mean, what's wrong with me? Isn't it obvious? I'm still in mourning. Mourning? For Peanut! Gee, Sarge, sometimes you can be so insensitive. Uh. Who's Peanut? My pet alligator. Ah, yes. I remember it well. You sure do like those little peanuts, don't you? Hey, that's the name we've been looking for. You're going to be my little peanut. Hey, Jughead. I haven't seen you for days, and... Is that what I think it is? It's my new pet, Peanut. Isn't she the cutest? Jughead, this is a very bad idea. Huh? Cute baby alligators grow up to be adult <sighs> alligators. So? So they're wild animals. It can't live in that shoebox when it's all grown up. But I love my little Peanut. If you really loved him, you'd let him live in a place where he belongs. I think I understand. Good. I... Obviously, I've got this cool new pet, and you're jealous! That's not it! Hey, don't leave! Sorry, time for Peanut's bath! <laughs> Who's the cutest little Peanut? Don't worry, you're not going anywhere! Jughead, I'm serious about this. So am I. Huh? Peanut is my pet, and he's not going anywhere. Hi, Jughead. Hello, Archikins. Uh -huh. Sorry, Ronnie. Jughead and I were just having a discussion. Not as far as I'm concerned. Look, I don't know what his problem is, and frankly, I don't care. But you and I have a date, Archikins. We do? I mean, we do. Let's go. Let me just freshen up. Be right back. <gasps> ah! Huh? Veronica! Peanut! Oh. Uh, it seems like just yesterday Peanut and I were playing. It was yesterday. Snap out of the Jughead. We need your help, and Peanut may need your help too. If Peanut got flushed into the sewers with all that toxic waste and a big monster, then Peanut is in terrible danger. Hey, everybody. This Look. is the scene at Main and 3rd Street. A delivery driver claims he was attacked by a monster. It was at least nine feet tall. It ripped the back of my truck open. It smashed all the TVs I had in there. And then the weirdest part of it is, it took off with a huge load of styrofoam packing peanuts. I mean, what would a monster like that want with packing peanuts? Packing peanuts. Packing peanuts. Oh no, don't you get it, Arch? That's no monster in the sewers. It's my little peanut. I'm telling you, that monster is my little peanut all grown up. But Jughead, Peanut was six inches long, and that was just yesterday. Sure, before he slurped down a toxic waste gator shake. Hmm, baby gator disappears, giant monster appears. Maybe he's right. Don't you start. It's just a crazy theory. It hasn't been proven. Then let's prove it. Take me to Peanut, Archie. No way, it's too dangerous. You don't seem to understand what we're dealing with here. What do you mean? Huh? I mean, look at the pavement. Wow, Peanut sure has grown. Now do you see why we're not going back down there? Let's just go back to your house. 
can call the police. No, they'll hurt Peanut. Huh? huh? Jughead! Jughead! Get back up here! Jughead! Go for help. I'm going after him. Are you kidding? You can't go back down there. I'm just going to grab Jughead before he gets hurt. Now hurry. We can't waste any time. From this day forward, the sewers will be my home. I'll lead Peanut even deeper into the pipes to protect my little pet and... Jughead, 
You don't belong in the sewers, and neither does Peanut. This is what happens when you take a wild animal from its natural habitat. One thing leads to another, and before long, everything is all messed up. You're right. Maybe he does belong back in the wild. But how do we get him there? I think I know who can help. Veronica made amends by having her dad pay to relocate Peanut to a special game preserve in Florida. Where specially trained eco-scientists will give Peanut the special care a mutant gator requires. Too often we forget that sometimes nature needs to take its course. But Jughead realized Peanut's well-being was more important than his need to have a pet. And besides, it's hard to get burgers when you live in the sewer, even in a little town called Riverdale. Eek!